can have both of our retirees come on down. Uh, come on up here. Giving each other a little strength there. <laughs> Uh, I tell you, it is, it is unbelievable over the last couple of years how many uh, dedicated, uh, faithful teachers we have lost to retirement. And it kind of concerns you a little bit, but uh, I know we'll, uh, uh, we'll be able to, to keep moving on, and I'm sure they'll be able to move on. And, uh, but we really, really thank them for their uh, service and faithful dedication to the students at uh, New Richmond Elementary. And uh, Bridget, you're first. And uh, thank you so much for all you've done. And uh, we have a bell here in recognition of all of her service. And uh, that's nice. You got a bell for Bridget. All right. Well, thank you so much. All right. And then we have Diane Keener. And uh, I tell you what, I've been really impressed with listening to her present the Roberta Wendell. Uh, scholarship and uh, there's another scholarship you give the New Richmond Elementary scholarship at the high school uh, senior night and she does a really good job at doing that so uh, really thank thank you for all of your years of service to the kids in New Richmond Elementary and uh, you've been here a while yes <laughs> so uh, anyway thank you so much really appreciate what you've done for our kids in our school district First, I'm going to tell you the truth now. She, rem she reminded me about her name. My first uh, big moment as superintendent, you know, it's opening day, my first year, and I'm reading off names, and I say Diane something. I can't remember what I, I said. Cooner. Something. And she yells out, like, Keener. Oh, <laughs> I blew it already. <laughs> so, Tara, are they allowed to say something now, or do you want to say something later? They can now. No, I don't have my tissue box. Can't do it. <laughs> we have something that we'll do later. Awesome. <laughs>
she's retiring because all the new staff could call her mom, and I do Ooh. that. Yeah. <laughs> but they call me grandma. So <laughs> you shouldn't feel too bad about that. All right, so um, I think what a whole lot of people don't know is shortly after Bridget started here, I guess shortly, a few years, we started teaching together. And I mean, like, together. Like, <coughs> together, like in the same room together. I had the top bunk, she was on the bottom. Um, we were married, she and Nick were separated, we got married, <laughs> and uh, spent lots of time together. And I know teachers like get in this mode where they eat the same lunch for like a whole year, and then like maybe the next year they'll still eat that lunch, or maybe they'll find a new lunch, like some of us eat the, like the chipped ball, chipped beef cream cheese ball with crackers like every single day. <laughs> That's supposed to be a Christmas tree, but whatever. So like, I was in this kick, healthy kick, where I did like spinach salads every day. And Bridget and I get the go to teach together in the same room. So I, we move in together, I bring the rabbit, and Bridget goes, oh, you know what? I'm like severely allergic to rabbits. I'm like, you are? She goes, oh yeah. I said to rabbits, because I don't know anybody that's allergic to rabbits. She goes, oh, I am, like deathly. I'm like, okay, so like, you don't want me to bring the bunny? I should open the door and go like this with the bunny? She goes, no, 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 I just can't be anywhere around it. So like the bunny lived in Siberia in the corner of the room, and I said, I won't make you change the litter or feed it, so you're fine. But I said, so, like, guinea pigs, you're allergic to them? No. Hamsters, mm -mm. gerbils, nope. i like, just, just rabbits. Okay, I feel like there's something Freudian going on, but that's okay. So then my lunch that year was like spinach salads, okay? So, and I was like half of this, what I am now, thin. So she says, oh my gosh, I also need to let you know I'm severely allergic to spinach. <laughs> yeah, of course you are. Spinach and rabbits. Yeah, isn't everybody? <laughs> Stuff. I really don't. I just share what you don't want me to share. So, she, uh, I stopped eating the spinach and have to buy all new clothes that are larger. Uh, then she starts this kick where she's like, oh, I can't believe you don't drink pop. I'm like, oh, that is not healthy. She goes, oh, Dr. Pepper's awesome. <laughs> so I'm like, well, that does taste kind of good. So then, like, every day for five years, she buys me Dr. Pepper. So now I have no spinach, Dr. Pepper, and I'm getting wider. And then she gives me these gold wrapped chocolates or something. And she's like, these are really good too. So I'm like, okay, I, you're weird. <laughs> okay, because I'm weird, so we can be weird together, but I'm tired of gaining weight. So when we talk together, you know, and, and lots of you in here have done that, you have to get used to each other's idiosyncrasies. So. She had a bunch. She had more than me. I just don't know that about her. But um, I don't know. She, she, you do know her as a good girl, and she is most of the time. And there is another side to her, but you know, maybe some of you will see. Me. Okay. And I did pull her into a really raucous prank one time, and I do. I told Terry, I said, I have to like be really nice to Bridget because I really did torment her when we talked together. There you go. Here, put your hands there and nod yes. <laughs> and I did. I mean, I really drug her through the dirt with me, and we lost like a couple years of our life. It's like a cat. <laughs> no, we, didn't, we, didn't, we did not lose any students that I remember. <laughs> did, I did. But, um, I really feel bad about that because when we first started teaching together, she said, you know, I don't like Looney Tunes humor, and I'm thinking, this is a problem. <laughs> because that's the only kind of humor I like. I mean, the Three Stooges, you know, the Road Runner, all of that is awesome, you know, hitting each other on the head with big mallets, and she goes, oh, I just, I hate that stuff. So, it was a strange marriage, but um, I gave her yikes. Yes. She gave me, my smile is gone. So I think when so my smile is gone. When she said that to a student with kind of a little bit, like about that much, of a mad voice, 
I was dying so much. I have it under my desk, and I like had to stay there for 45 minutes because every time I thought I could get it together and come up, I'm like, oh, I can't. This is such a rare occasion that she's yelling. <laughs> well, I know, like I could go on and on, and I know a lot of you people could say things too and may want to when I'm done, but I will give the Mr. Ryle example. And um, I don't even think we were teaching together yet, but he would come by. He would look at her and say to me, I wish you could be a good teacher like her. <laughs> and like the first time, I roared. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> like the second time, I smiled. The third time, I nodded like, yeah, Kate, okay, you've already told me that. <laughs> and then like the next 20 times, I just like totally ignored him. And I just like, walked by. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the next 20 times, because he just did not give up on this, I would like, I, like wanted to poke her in the eyeballs. <laughs> you know, okay, I'm so over you, Bridget. <laughs> and then the 20 times after that, I like threw in the town. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I do wish I had a lot of her traits because she is a leader. She's a Christian. She's a wonderful wife. She's a tremendous mother. <laughs> She's a wonderful mother-in-law. She's a fantastic grandma, and she is a teacher and a friend who is full of patience, grace, forgiveness, <laughs> and love. Yeah, hard active. Hard active. Oh, exactly. Yes. Well, she's well, said a lot of things that I had planned to say, which she wears many hats, as we all know. And through the years, there have been so many changes at NRE. Not only do we get new students each year, but the staff has changed. The curriculum has changed <clears throat> many times. Uh, <laughs> also, the way we teach, whether it would be team teaching, <laughs> multi-age, we have done that. We do departmentalizing. We've given them the rotation piece. We've tried it all. but. Um, through the years, when we went back to grade levels and I was no longer multi-age, you were no longer team teaching, we eventually ended up together as first grade team, the three of us. And that was a long time ago. A long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago. But um, with the team teaching, not only did we gel immediately, we collaborated. I think quite well working with the little ones and hopefully they're on their road to success. But the part that I know Bonnie and I'll treasure the most is the friendship that came with it. It's way beyond these four walls. And we wanted to tell you. <laughs> do is just invite everyone to close your eyes and relax because I'm going to play some music that I just want you to listen to for a second so please close your eyes time we hear that. Bridget. <laughs> because in Bridget's world, everything is perfect. It's all rainbows and unicorns and birds chirping. You cannot be in a bad mood around Bridget. She will not let you. And those of you who don't really know her, you probably are thinking, that can't be for real. Well, it is. <laughs> That's Bridget. She is like that most of the time. Um, but we have been so entertained this year with making Bridget blush, drop her open, her mouth wide open, use earmuffs. At least I, we do call her mom all the time. Hey, mom. But seriously, um, we were so happy last year when you moved to second grade with us. 
Um, we couldn't wait to work more with you, and it gave us the opportunity to really get to know Bridget, and boy, did we get to know her. <laughs> Now, even though she taught second grade this year, and she has in the past, Bridget will always be a first grade teacher. It is like she was born to be a first grade teacher. It's like running through her veins. We even decided that she is probably the queen of first grade. In fact, we also thought if she wasn't a teacher, she probably would have been a Disney princess. <laughs> Lindsay's help created a Disney song that if um, Bridget were Disney princess singing how to be a teacher, what she would say. It's, you know, Snow White sings Whistle While You Work. This is Bridget singing Smile While You Teach. <laughs>
She loves a bargain. So if she has a coupon she thinks you can use, she'll put it in your mailbox. <laughs> Personally, I owe her hundreds of dollars from prescription savings alone. <laughs> children first. Children first. And supporting each other side by side through years of genuine excellence delivered with lion pride. When you pin on this lion paw, remember the imprint that you leave lasts forever in the hearts and minds of those you serve. This you must believe. And so that came to us and the word believe is very important because it landed at my feet yesterday. And what I believe is that it, I was meant to be a teacher. I decided I wanted to be a teacher when I was in third grade. I can name all my elementary school teachers, picture them. I fell in love with learning. I fell in love with school. I never wanted to leave. So I was very fortunate to know what I wanted to do, have a purpose, go to school, and hurry to get right back in to elementary school. 
and it will be a big Because we look at those faces looking at us and we believe we're meant to be there. I believe being a teacher is the most important job other than being a parent, which is also being a teacher, that you could ever have. Our profession is the mother of all professions because you can't do anything if you don't know how to read, if you don't know how to do math, if you don't know how to function. And I believe that we need our music education, we need our art education, we need our sciences, because those plant those seeds that build our future scientists, our future entertainers, our future politicians, whatever. So I believe I'm in the best position, I'm in the best profession, I'm with the best teachers, and I'm in the best building. I love you all.